Hi guys, my name is Malik and today I'm going to talk to you about how to prevent enzymatic browning. So enzymatic browning happens in the presence of three substances. We have oxygen, polyphenolase, and a phenolic compound. But normally, the cell structure can separate from the enzyme, from the, compa the phenolic compound of the fruit or vegetable regardless if it is cut or bruised. But normally, when the fruit or vegetable is cut or bruised, an enzyme reaction happens such as Tyrosine oxidizes an amino acid tyrosine in result of a dark color, or the phenolic compound are oxidized by the polyphenol oxidase enzyme, which trigger this dark pigmentation, also called melanin. So some examples of fruits and vegetables that can be seen in enzymatic browning are, you know, apples, pears, we have lettuce, avocado, mushrooms, potatoes, and the results of enzymatic browning, besides the color, can also affect the taste, the texture, and the nutrient value, So, which is why most people try to prevent it. And there's a couple of solutions that can inhibit this enzyme activity. So one of them is denaturing the enzyme, adding an acid, lowering the storage temperature, or blocking the exposure of oxygen overall. So an example of denaturing enzymes are blanching the foods by dipping them briefly in hot water. Most people do that with vegetables, but we prefer not to do them with fruit. So another thing is reducing pH, which is why we can add things like lemon, lime, orange juice, cream of tartar, which lower it to be more acidic because the polyphenol oxidase enzymes prefers to have a pH of seven. Lowering the temperature, obviously, you can put things in the fridge because that reduces the rate of an enzyme reaction from happening. And then adding an antioxidant prevents browning as well because it uses up all the available oxygen. So an example of just a regular fruit from browning, I have this pear for example, and then I prepared some other fruits that I can show you guys. This is in water. And it looks pretty much the same as before. This is with lemon. It's kind of glossy, but it has no browning going on. I have the fridge, which is just colder temperatures. So as you can tell, that probably has the best effect. And lastly, to compare it all, I have it towards nothing, which you can see there's browning. And I'll probably post a picture at the end just to compare all four of them. Thank you.